My name is Kevin Doyle. I'm a technical sales manager with Filio UK in Ireland. Beef finishing animals and the final finishing diet, we're looking to achieve high levels of daily live weight gain to get animals away as soon as possible. So with younger animals, protein should be the main focus to grow frame. With older animals, moving on to the final finishing phase, anywhere from 70 to 200 days, depending on the breed, energy should be the main focus. A good finishing diet should be high in energy with starch and sugars running over 33%, depending on the breed and, and type of cattle you're feeding. This high energy is rapidly fermented in the rumen, which can lead to issues with poor rumen function and ultimately acidosis if not managed correctly. The first and most important period to manage rumen function is on, on the transition onto the finishing ration, where cattle are often coming from a forage or grass-based diet onto a diet high in cereals or byproducts. The rumen microbes have to adapt to this change in diet which usually takes a period of about three weeks. If the transition period isn't managed correctly and if cattle are put onto a new diet too quickly, they can often experience stalling where they don't put any, on any weight or even go backwards. It's vitally important that farmers agree a health plan with their farm vet in order to minimise any risk of disease or any other illness affecting performance. Good feed management is exceptionally important during the transition onto the finishing ration Cattle should be stepped up onto the finishing ration gradually over a period of about three weeks. Clean supply of palatable water and also uh, forage or roughage should always be available. Cattle should not be allowed to run out of feed for any period of time as this can lead to gorging. One very important point is to keep the diet consistent from start to finish as variability is the enemy as the rumen microbes have to adapt to any change that in the diet composition. Signs that there may be poor rumen function or acidosis in your herd include, is the dung loose? Are there gas bubbles present? Is the dung gray or foamy? Is there excess fiber or grains coming out in the manure, which may indicate poor rumen function? Another key indicator of, is to look at cutting rates, and ideally we'd like to see 60% not eating or drinking, lying down, chewing the cud. Feeding ActiSaf live yeast has been proven to aid in the transition from one diet to another. It's also been proven to stabilize rumen pH, increased feed digestibility and utilization, leading to increased daily live weight gains by up to 9% and feed efficiency by about 4.3%, which ultimately means more meat per unit of feed.